Hello friends, welcome back. Today I'm going to share my experience about Salesforce certification. Uh, that is Salesforce developer, Salesforce platform developer one certification. So I was thinking of giving this certification from the long time, but you know I was not confident enough to you know, go ahead and you know give one. But this week I collected some courage and I thought okay I'll go ahead and give my preparation was enough that's what I felt and I scheduled yesterday and today I gave it and luckily I don't say luckily but I did work hard on it uh, I cleared the certification and I am happy so after some time I got an email like this Congratulations Trailblazer, you have successfully completed certification exam to become a Salesforce Certified Platform Developer 1. Welcome to the worldwide community of the Salesforce Certified Professional. So this is how it shows. It says just pass. It doesn't show me how many questions I have answered correctly or wrong. Uh, and it gives the section level scoring. So this is how it looks. I have scored in fundamental 66%, data modeling 75, logic and process automation 78, user interface 66 and 100% in testing so, and debug and deployment 60%. So overall I'm pass. I don't know how many of the questions were correct and how many were wrong, but overall my result was pass. So I'm happy to know this and uh, it also has some credentials you know in this email just for that logo i don't know why they have given a separate uh, username and password for that it just logo there is no other <clears throat> personal information in that i just checked so it's just a logo of uh, salesforce certified platform developer one so this is it so so how did i prepare i mean uh, did I read any dumps? Yes, I did read, but did it help? No, I don't rely completely on the dumps. That's my suggestion because dumps question is like a lottery. It may come, it may not come, but you should have, you know, covered yourself with some knowledge from the other materials, like, you know, going through the trailblazer or trailhead, uh, you know, or if you have some working knowledge that's also helps i personally i had some working knowledge, so that's where it helped me so yeah i mean don't rely on the dumps you should at least have some theoretical knowledge or working experience to start with how did i prepare so i had some hands-on working experience for about an year and i read some important documents when i was going through some dumps or when i was googling it i was seeing a lot of repeated questions on like must detail relationship lookup relationship or workflows process builder uh, something like that and even the deployments and stuff like that so i categorized like what all the important topics so i go have gone through that and then i did some practice exam online which is available if you google it you find n number of questions and you can also find you know some websites offering you that free dumps not freedom sorry uh, don't go for the freedoms i mean they're paid dumps i don't know how far it is true that it's a genuine dump but i don't suggest you to waste money on that you know if you just put some effort you can clear it so i don't recommend you know, buying any dumps online because nowadays i've seen websites you know number of websites growing uh, selling their dumps so work hard i mean prepare well and give it you will be cleared so don't waste money so that's what that's how you know i suggest um so overall you know uh, i felt relieved after a long time i cleared my certification and uh, and i'm happy so that's all so and uh, one thing i want to share is when i was giving the certifications i by mistake touched the keypad keyboard some key got pressed and it aborted almost you know uh, it, I, I was giving the proctor exam online not the online one a proctor i went to the you know um, 
proctored site and i was giving the exam there and i touched the keypad during the exam i still had some 20 questions to answer and luckily you know it gave a warning that call the proctor and continue your exam so i called he logged in and i was able to was able to continue with that and luckily i completed all the questions and uh, reviewed some of the question which i marked for the bookmarking and change some answer uh, hopefully you know it's right and then i submitted my all my questions and then i'm glad to see that boom you have cleared the certification exam and then it also showed the section wise scoring percentage and then i closed it and went to the proctor and he said i'm good to leave i'll get an email uh, about uh, clearing the certification which i showed in the beginning of this video so that's how it went and coming to the exam format i wanted to tell you this first of all you will get uh, you know test taker authorization code in your email when you book the certification exam and if you are going to the proctor site you have to give that proctor code and they'll give a form enter all your details and your id proof details and then with that he'll log in and allow you to continue your test uh, you will get 65 questions to answer in 148 minutes and you can bookmark the questions for the later review if you have any doubts and and last but not the least my experience do not touch the keyboard during the test it gave a you know activating security module and then i called the proctor he did something he logged in back and i was able to continue from where i was left with so that's that's my experience uh, you know horrible experience with this test that's only a small one okay so thanks for watching uh, this video till now if you are not subscribed please do subscribe i'll be posting more content on the salesforce related stuff and please click on the bell icon also for the new video notification thank you Bye -bye.